I'm Brandy. This is Alan. Hello. <laughs> and this is a MacGuffin Extra where we're just going to talk a little bit about a topic that I love, which is top five favorite Disney animated films. Ex Not excluding Pixar. Yes. We have to put that caveat in there, but hand drawn animated films. What are our favorites that Disney has come up with? We each have a top five. Here we go. My number five The Little Mermaid. Uh, I feel like that's really a classic for anyone who was, you know, six when it came out when I was. <laughs> I was six when it came out. I remember, like, that was, that's probably the first movie I remember seeing in the theater and just obsessed with it. And I think it still has some of the best music that they've ever done. Kiss the Girl, I mean, come on, that song is awesome. Um, and I just like it, I like it a lot. I don't even know where to begin. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I like I like The Little Mermaid, um, but you know, for me, it wasn't that very memorable, to be honest. I don't really have anything to say about it. Uh, yeah, uh, I really oh. like the I really like the animated. You're films like that's after... the one where she has red hair, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the one where she has yeah, and the shellfish. Yeah. That's pretty much it for me when it comes to that. Uh, but I, I like the other ones after The Little Mermaid. Yeah, it was Little definitely Mermaid, the one that started the trend up again, the second... Yeah, the renaissance yeah. of Disney animated mm -hmm. films, so... Mm -hmm. uh, oh, perfect. Oh, yeah, there's a buzzer. We're going to get buzzed after a minute. Yes, it's a little bit of a flash, <laughs> flash debate All right, here. so that's it. Your number five. My number five is a classic called A Goofy Movie. Now, a goofy movie. Yes, yes. Oh. Everyone in the background is cheering for me because that is an awesome movie. <laughs> it's a sleeper. That's a sleeper for no sure. No way. That movie's awesome. You know, that is probably the most fun Disney movie out of everything they've made. Did you see that insane thing on YouTube where the guy like redid it all with uh, the whole opening song with the um, live action? Oh, I heard about that. I heard about that, but I, I, I didn't. It, I didn't see that. It's really satisfying. But, but it was so cool. You know, you have Goofy. You know, who's one of the classic Disney characters being in his own movie. You have his son, Max, you know, who's the teenager. When mm -hmm. you saw him, right, or when I saw him, I was a teenager, so I was totally able to relate uh, with Max, you know, having that little, like, bumping your heads with your dad, wanting to, like, get the girl, um, you know, it was a great adventure, it was a great road trip movie. Uh, the <laughs> music was great. Uh, the comedy was awesome. Mm -hmm. I mean, what is there mm -hmm. not to like about a goofy movie? Not much, actually. Exactly. All right. Number four for me is Beauty and the Beast, which is, up, until Up this last year, was the only animated film that had ever been nominated for Best Picture and is another classic from that same era as The Little Mermaid. Um, great heroine, like probably the best heroine that they've ever yeah, had. Yeah. Um, you know, she likes to read. Oh, my God. Like, <laughs> this is insane. She has a personality. And, um, you know, it's just really funny. And, again, the songs are really great. The animation is really pretty. Um, yeah, I, I like yeah. the animation in that, too. It was one of the first movies, I think, that combined hand-drawn animation with computer yep. uh, animation. Uh, you know, you have that classic scene where Belle and the Beast are, you know, dancing in that oh, yeah. ballroom, and the camera, like, swoops Little down Angel in, Lansbury you know. Angel Lansbury serenading them in the background. You gotta you love know. Mrs. Potts. Yes. <laughs> yes, that is awesome. Yep. Um, yeah, I mean, I have nothing like I have nothing bad to say about that movie. You know, I I really enjoy that movie. It might be showing up a little, little bit uh, later in my list, uh, so stick around. Um, but moving on, uh, my number four would be uh, The Hunchback of Notre Dame. I love this pick because I feel like that's a really underrated movie. It it really is. I uh, you know, it's a great dark story. Well, you know, just stepping back, I think that is probably the darkest uh, Disney movie probably out of all of them you know you have mm -hmm. you know themes like racism uh mob violence death uh lust you know i was in my research i uh, looked up a line right and uh there's a part <clears throat> where frollo who's about to kill quasimodo writes this is an unholy demon i'm sending it back to hell where it belongs that it's is an awesome stuff. line. I mean, for a kids movie, mm -hmm. that's crazy. You and know? There, there's a. I, I'm gonna keep talking about the music, but there's a song in that that it starts out as a duet between Quasimodo and Frollo, and then turns into like his Quasimodo's like lament of how he can never leave the bell tower. That should be like it should be up there with like anything from any of the movies as a classic song. And I don't think people. Oh, that, yeah, know that it. is yeah. a that's an epic that's an epic. It's song. great. Yeah, it's really great. Okay, uh, my 
<laughs> my number three is The Emperor's New Groove, which I think is one of the funniest movies I have ever seen in my life. If we were doing top five funniest movies ever, it would be on there as well. Um, I just okay. You're gonna have to help me out with this one because I didn't. You know, I didn't see that. You've one. never seen that first. No, oh I didn't my see god. that one. It did not. Look, it did <laughs> That's not what we're doing after this. Okay. No, it is so funny. It. I mean, if you, this is like the best bromance I've ever seen. Pretty much. That's like, okay. It's just fantastic. I mean, it is so random, and it's got so many great voices. Uh, you know, John Goodman, David Spade, Eartha Kitt, uh, Patrick Warburton, uh, Wendy Malick. Just the voice cast is hysterical, and you've got you've got to watch it, dude. It is just it it is the definition really? of zany, and it is so quotable. See, it is definitely the most quoted movie among me and my friends. See, when I saw the trailers for that, I thought it was almost too zany. You know, no, like, it looked it way works. over the top. <laughs> you've got to watch it. it really? Is, yeah, it's hilarious. Okay. <laughs> Uh, for number three, for me, uh, we're going to go back uh, to Beauty and the Beast. Um, I really like that movie. You know, it has a great story, you know, about not, you know, judging a person by their looks, both, you know, mm -hmm. the Beast and Belle herself. Uh, you have a great, you know, villain in Gaston who wants to get Belle uh, for himself. Uh, you know, great side characters like Lumiere, uh, Cogsworth, uh, The Clock. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. It's one of those classic uh, stories that are, like, flipped on its head. You know, it's not about, like, a princess and a prince trying to save her yeah. or anything like that. So. And it is pretty dark as well, like, probably darker than people remember. Like, Gaston is just a human and he still totally gets killed at the end you know that's that's pretty intense yeah that that is intense yeah yeah i mean you could you see a stabbing in in the movie which yeah. is pretty yeah. hardcore yeah that's, that's a good one all right before we can get buzzed uh, my number two is lady and the tramp which uh i berated you for uh before because you had it rated as two stars on netflix and i just don't understand like <laughs> because said, it's such a classic it's just so Bring cute it back. it's really delightful it's just a nice little story and it has again with the music is a big thing for me again two of the best songs with bella note and he's a tramp which i would i dream of being able to sing he's a tramp at karaoke sometime but they never have it <laughs> and well, like i said in yeah. our conversation before i just didn't think <laughs> that movie like like um what was that movie what was that movie we just talked about little mermaid right <laughs> like i said it's I, it's not very memorable to me like i saw it when i was a kid and i don't think i've seen it since uh i don't know I, it just didn't hit me like all the other disney movies hit me you know you should give it another like, shot like before i like i said earlier um in our conversation off screen i remember you know 101 dalmatians way more and not to t you know i don't know if this is a disney movie or not but oh i'm not going to talk not. about it it's Are you not. Gonna say all dogs go to heaven. Yes. No. <laughs> okay. Okay. So uh, we are at number. You're two. You're number two, yeah. My number two is uh, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Now, the reason why I picked that was, you know, because it was the first animated feature mm -hmm. ever made and put out. I mean, that is a huge monument. You know, before then, you know, animated features were like short six minute clips that were run before movies mm -hmm. right so for walt disney to create an entire narrative you know i mean it's like an hour and a half long completely animated it was it was huge you know uh, at the oscars they gave walt disney his very own oscar for making the film you know it was a technical achievement um a little bit of history the uh russian director sergey eisenstein called it the greatest movie ever made right Throwing a little education yeah. at you. Yeah. Uh, I <laughs> it mean, that's all huge. like, it inspired me to make the Battleship Potemkin. Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> For a guy who made the Battleship Potemkin, that is a lot of credit. So yeah. uh, I think you have to give credit where credit's due. Yes, the story's not that great. Uh, it's a little sluggish at times, but yeah. what are you going to uh, do? I'm not that much of a fan, but it is good animation. Um, my number one is Sleeping Beauty. I adore that movie. Um, also, kind of a first, it was the first um, animated film that they had done in widescreen. Um, they did some crazy things with like hand painted backgrounds and just a lot of stylistically, it's a huge leap ahead of uh, a lot of the other stuff that was coming out. Uh -huh. It was 1959, I think that one was. Um, and. I don't know. I just, I really like it. I think Maleficent is like the best villain in Disney history. She's just crazy cool. 
Um, I think you're uh, taking, uh, you have this really na great knack of picking films that I don't really like remember very well, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Sleeping Beauty, like, I'll okay. loan you the special edition. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll borrow it and not watch it later. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, but, yeah, ouch. So, you can't spare so, 75 minutes of your time? I guess I can, but I'd rather do it like watching other films or something. But <laughs> Sleeping Beauty, okay, sure. Okay. <laughs> um, so mine, we're at number one, right? Yeah. I think my number one is the same as your number one, which is uh, Pinocchio. What? Is it? <laughs> Didn't you say Pinocchio? No, I oh hate Pinocchio. Oh. oh my god, that what movie is, is not, insufferable. What's, what's wrong with Pinocchio? Oh, that Pinocchio little Pinocchio is awesome. <laughs> what's wrong with Pinocchio? Oh, what a brat. Oh my god. Tell me, tell me what is wrong with Pinocchio. I don't want to be a real boy. Like, god, you're He's immortal. He's a wooden puppet. <laughs> like, He's a wooden puppet. Who no. acts? Uh, yeah, he wants to be a real Pinocchio boy. Pinocchio is so annoying. No, Pinocchio was awesome. No. Yes, it was. When was the last time you watched it? Last time I watched it? You know what? The last time I watched it was probably closer than how I watched like Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> that doesn't mean anything. That's true. I hate this segment. Anyway, <laughs> you could tell whose idea it was. You're just picking the historically significant ones. But that, but that, that's a point though to to make. You know, Pinocchio was a historically significant movie. You know, it took everything that Snow White made, did and made it better, right? No. Right? No. Yes. Yes. Anyway, that has been our top five. Um, I guess if we ever want to watch a Disney movie together, it's going to have to be Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I guess so. Anyway. Anyway, uh, if you want more information, uh, if you want to email us about how great this segment was or how great it wasn't, <laughs> uh, just hit us up at mcguffinpodcast.com and uh, yeah. See you later. See you later. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha